Hi up Ravers. Uh, I've had a nickel bit of a, a plumbing disaster but don't worry uh, I'm gonna get my son changed uh, and I'll pop through in the dining room and, and we'll be ready for race night uh, in just a second or two. Uh, uh, yeah welcome to Ray Ruttles race night. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ravers. Uh, I have been struggling recent weeks, ain't I? One thing or the other. Uh, but yeah, I were cleaning a blocked sink. We got a, a, a blocked up sink in the bathroom. And I was using one of them air blaster things uh, to give it a blast of air to clear the, the sort of drain. Uh, and it's exploded all over my shirt and my face. Oh, crikey, right, mess. Bloody hell. Uh, Any road. Uh, welcome to the dining room for 706 and the Angela's birthday steaks. Happy birthday, Angela. Uh, her son is useless. He always forgets her birthday. Uh, so we thought uh, we'd do a special a shout out, birthday shout out for her name the race after. Because uh, her son will he'll just have forgotten again. Bloody really useless. Uh, anyway, uh, the Angela's birthday steaks will be contested over a distance of 3 feet 11 inches. And the going is firm. And there's five runners. Okie do, on to tonight's gate draw. And in gate one, we've got Diamond Dollars Page, ridden by Deke. Uh, and I thought Deke and Lad were going to be livid, because uh, he cropped up on that last fence again last time out, didn't it? Cost him a win. But he's back to his jovial sen again, which is always good to see. A lovely character, a lovely blow. Uh, he will be annoyed, he ain't mastered that last fence though, that Gibbons teeth has proven his nemesis, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully it won't give him any bother tonight. In gate two, a steed, ridden by Mrs. Pale. Uh, had a bit of a loss of form in recent weeks, Steed, ain't he? Uh, started the season brilliantly, uh, but he's dropped off a nickel bit, so uh, he'll be hoping for a return to form. Hopefully Mrs. Pale can uh, sort him out a nickel bit. In gate three, a blue mover, ridden by Milad Dean. Uh, been very consistent in the last few weeks. Lots of third places, uh, blue mover. Uh, and he's getting him uh, the points here and there, but uh, he really could do with a few wins to really push him up the leaderboard because he's still languishing down in the bottom. Uh, any road, uh, gate four, all white on the night. Ridden by my wife, Denise. Uh, what's she reading this week? Oh, uh, the Air Snake Drain Cleaning Air Gun Kit Instruction Manual. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a dig at me, that is. It's because I just jump in. I'm all gung out when it comes to DIY and stuff like that. I don't read the instructions. Uh, and it's cost me tonight. I've got crap all over my shirt. Not literal crap, but gunk, you know. Uh, anyway, hopefully she'll find out how to use a bloody thing so we can avoid that problem. And finishing off tonight's lineup in Gate 5, it's Village Green Preservation Society, ridden by me daughter Maxine. Grinning away, bless her, isn't she? Yeah, oblivious to the fact that uh, she's down near the bottom of the table. She just comes along, tries her best every week. Uh, probably should be in the Paralympics, shouldn't she, at the moment, with uh, three legs. Uh, any road, on to the odds. Well, no surprises there, the outsider is Village Green Preservation Society on the three legs at 6 to 1. Blue Mover, also not giving favourable odds, he's 92. All White on the Night, down at 41. The Diamond Dollars Page, 72. But your favourite is Steve, uh, 3 to 1. Remember, these odds are just for information purposes, just help you pick a winner. Gamble responsibly. It's always good to make informed decisions when you're gambling, which is why we give you these odds. And maybe if I made an informed decision about how to properly use the air snake drain cleaning air gun kit, I wouldn't have ruined my shirt earlier. So, uh, yeah, uh, let that be a lesson to me. Well, last week, you may remember, we saw Rip demonstrating some very strange tactics as he cut right across Dallas Green, properly scuppered her chances of doing out in the race last week. But it didn't help him, uh, no, because it was the Scarlet Pumpernel who romped home for the win and I was delighted as I were able to just pick Bockle of Beer and by John Oliver with no trousers on uh, into third place. I got second on Don't Eat Your List Now. 
uh, Dodd were livid though. She she wanted a rerun, and I had to remind her there's no DQs, no disqualifications this season. I wonder how her big rival Diamond Dallas Page is going to get on tonight. Let's get to the starting gates and find out. And they're under status on Des. And they're off. And will Village Green Preservation Society be able to avoid the toothpaste splat? Well, she looks like she's taken the first fence superbly. It's Village Green Preservation Society in the lead from Steed. But Village Green Preservation Society's gone down. Steed is now in the lead with all white of the night on second. And Blueberry in third. But Steed is going to hold on to take it. Well, that were a slick run from Steed. Reminiscent of his early form this season. Uh, well done, Mrs. Pale. Uh, but early on, it were Village Green Preservation Society looking very good. Took that first fence superbly and skillfully avoids the toothpaste splat, you'll see. But I think that racing line cost her because you'll see her, her front tooth here just catches. Ruttles up there and she goes over. That's the end of her race yet again. Uh, Steed, though, looking very impressive here. Cool under pressure despite all that on the night and Blue Mover and DDP pushing hard. DDP fails to negotiate the Gibbons teeth yet again and it costs him a finish. But who comes in second? Crikey, we're going to need to freeze this. You know what? We're only going to need the blooming super zoom again. Well, it looks like all that on the night's nose is in front, but the hooves, you can't really tell. Yeah, it's, you can. If you look, you can see the blue hoof of a blue movie ain't crossed the line and all white on the night her hooves because they're the same colour as the line it's easy to, to think that they, they ain't crossed it but you can see they have crossed that line so uh, all white on the night's got second blue movie yet another third oof let's get confirmation of the results so confirmation of the results of the dining room 706 and the Angela's birthday stakes First, where your three to one favourite, Steed. A return to form for Steed. Well done, Mrs. Peel. Excellent riding. The second, all white on the night. And third, were Blue Mover yet again. How many thirds is that on the track for Blue Mover? About four, is it? Very consistent. Uh, all five ran, two did not finish. Yeah. Village Green Preservation Society up along, she goes down. Uh, probably should be in the Paralympics, really. Paralympic Escalado. Do you reckon? Well, they don't do Escalado at the Olympics, do they? But, you know, you get me, Jeff. Uh, yeah, she was teetering and, and she went down yet again, unfortunately. And Dharma Dallas Page got chomped on by the Gibbons' teeth yet again. Uh, he, he looked like he could get in the placings, but then he just got nipped by the teeth and he, he couldn't finish. He couldn't finish by the time I stopped waggling. He still was stuck on the fence. But it was Steed who looked very calm under pressure tonight. Followed by All White on the night and Blue Move it. Let's see what the points have done to the season standings. Well, Buckler Bay, ridden by John Oliver with no trousers on. It pains me to say, still top at leaderboard on 20 points. But Steed has closed the gap. He's moved back up to two and he's on 18 points. Ripper's dropped down into third and he's on 16. Controversy here because all white on the night uh, got a second place that's two points today but uh, my wife Denise says Raymond you've added up the bloody scores wrong which won't be the first time if I'm honest with you uh, and she's recounted what she should have and she says she's on 14 which means she's late from me and DDP that's bloody annoying for me I'm down in fifth now so she's in fourth on the count back rule because she's won three races I'm down in fifth and Diamond Dallas Page, DDP has dropped down into 6th into the bottom half at table. We're all on 14, but uh, the count battle all decides those placings. Dallas Green is down in 7th on 12. The Pumpernel is in 8th place on 11 points. Blue Mover, despite his 3rd place, yet another, I think it's his 4th on the top tonight, is it? Uh, he's up to 8 points, but he's still in ninth position. And Village Green Preservation Society falling again today. She's still rooted to the body. And that is the story as it stands uh, after race 22 of the 2021 race night season. Come and join us for race 23 next Sunday, 5th of September. God, crumbling here, we're in September already. At 7pm in the dining room for the gate draw. And in the meantime, get online at rayruchell.com forward slash race night. 
for the full schedule, the sponsorship information, and the season standings. And you can watch all the races back on there and all if you want. Or you can get in touch. You tweet me at Ray Rutchell. Pop a comment below. Or you can always email me if you want via the website. Lovely to hear from the Ravers and the Riders. And remember to poke the like button. Give it a good poke. Poke away. And share the excitement to race night with your mates. And subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. And I will see you lot next week. Okie do. Right, have you worked out how to use it yet then, love? Because I tell you what, I'm not putting my shirt back on. I'm doing it nude. I'm not ruining another set of clothes. Right, let's give it a go then. Give it here.